All right, guys, you're probably thinking that looks familiar behind me. Yes, I'm back at the river today. Um, remember the cash register I found the other day, the, the antique cash register that was in the water? It probably was in like a general store or a shop years ago. Um, I thought about that for a little bit and I thought, you know what, I might get back out here and uh, actually check that out. There could be some coins around that thing. I mean, it's a, it's a long shot, but heck, you know what, I might as well try it. If not, I'll find some other stuff out here again. Um, and uh, Chig's out here today. He uh, messaged me this morning and wondered what I was up to. And I said, you know what, I'm going to be checking out this cast register. So hopefully we'll see him down there. I think I see him in the water now. So we'll get you guys on the first good signal. Thanks for coming along. I don't know how long this, uh, this hunt's going to be because I'm mainly wanting to check that cast register and see what he's getting into. Um, but I might get into some of the other spots where I found those silver rings the other day because I think there could be more in that area because there was a swimming area here years ago. Um, this bridge is really old. We'll see you guys on the first one. See you in a little bit. All right, guys. I did find him. He's right here. Um, he. I want to show you something he found. Uh, he found a really cool Hagerstown, Maryland uh, milk bottle. And they call this a cream top. It's got a special uh, shape to it, the way it's shaped. And I think that was go for a cream i guess it would you know a yeah. cream top um this would have had a paper lid inside the top um, a really cool bottle um it's probably common in this area but oh, i think it says for babies or something on there too yeah safe milk for babies isn't that cool congrats on that bo it's awesome <laughs> he can't even talk right now he's got his camera no, in his mouth <laughs> you want to hear it what's your camera still running yeah go ahead yeah so Safe milk for babies, so that probably means it was pasteurized. Oh yeah. And the cream top, what that What's is. What's that mean? Is if when you fill this full of fresh milk out of a cow. Okay. Um, it separates over, overnight it'll separate. Okay. And the milk will be down here like we drink. Okay. And the cream goes into the top. Okay. So there'll be really thick, heavy, heavy good cream, stuff. good stuff. Yeah. That way you could pour it off easily. Like okay. I always done, wondered what that milk, meant. It's not pasteurized and homogenized. Yeah. Um, it has lots of cream in it. Okay. Um, I had no idea what that meant. Yeah, that's what, Thanks that's for explaining what that like to me. Enough. And After you let it sit for a day, that'll be just full Era of, of that, about 1920? Uh, Earlier know. than that, maybe? I'm uh, sure. You that's can sometimes well, check. Patent date. <laughs> oh, is there? Patented 25, so. I was about, yeah, 1920. So, yeah, so that's awesome. Close. Congrats, man. I yeah. love that. <laughs> I'm going to sit down here. All right. It's heavy. Yeah. And, uh, carry it back. All right, guys, I came over here to the cash register. I wanted to check. I told you guys about at the beginning of the video. Uh, Chig, he just went back that way. He's going to go check out where we found the bullets. But what I was wanting to do is I think I even see this, the tray down in there where the coins would have been. My machine is going crazy. I'm sorry if you guys hear that. But I thought I just, you know, it doesn't hurt to try and look. There could be some coins down in there somewhere. You never know. Let's see. I think this is the 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 bottom. No, that's the bottom with an air conditioner. What I'm gonna do try to get this thing moved out of the way and I want to swing right there just in case when they threw this out there was some coins that were still in there in the cash register and see if there was anything there I'm going to swing right through here because I moved the red cash register over that way there's probably going to be a lot of junk in there I'll let you know if I find anything. There's probably gonna be a lot of trash here though. Just like I said there. Yeah. Yeah, there's too many signals in here. People have been dumping right here and I just can't. Yeah. All right, guys, it was worth a shot to look. I mean, there's a, there's a pretty high squeaker right there. Well, I'll let you guys know. 
All right, guys, update on the cash register. I didn't find anything around it, just a bunch of junk. The signals were too, uh, too many signals there. I just found this um, out from the bank. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. I have no idea. It's like a wheel. At first, I thought it was a gear off of a bicycle, but there's no uh, like teeth on the outside of it. All right, let's keep going. It's a little bit weird. I have no idea. Got my first uh, fishing sinker. I was out here for six hours the other day and didn't get one. My first sinker I got, so I thought it was a bullet, Civil War bullet. They ring up just like a Civil War bullet because they're lead, of course. About the same size, too. That's an old one. Hey, guys. I'm getting a really good signal here. It's a constant, repeatable 27. It's weird how it's not changing numbers, and it's not very deep at all. It's like there's bedrock right there. Uh, so we're definitely going to check this out. I mean, it's a killer signal. Very strong signal. Let's get the pinpointer out. See if we can locate what we got going on here. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's right there, so... We'll get back to you. All right, there's what our target was. That's why the target was so good. It's just top of an old uh, uh, soda can or beer can. All right, I hadn't found anything in a while. I just found this, uh, this animal trap. Um, people use these to uh, you know, trap animals for furs and different things. I find these a lot. Uh, this is probably like my fifth or sixth I've found. And I see a V there in the middle. I believe that's for a company called Victor, I believe. If I'm wrong, please correct me on that. But I don't think it's real old. I think it's probably 1940s. All right, I haven't found one in a while, so it's kind of cool to get one today. I actually probably might keep that. Um, I'll clean it up. People display these and stuff. All right, guys. Uh, moved over from where I found the animal trap and I, I uh, spotted a bottle here. I bought a bottle in the water. Um, like I said, Chig found, you've seen the bottle he found. So there is some bottles out here. I know Charles was out here the other day with me and he found a few too. I found some as well. Um, but I'm going to see what this is. I'm going to put you guys under. I think I know what it is. I don't know if it's old or not, but I'm going to put you guys under the water so y'all can see it. See, it's right there. Let's see what it is. Hope y'all can see it underwater. be a coke bottle i kind of thought it was when i seen it but i didn't know for sure it's not real old i'd say it's 60s 1960s maybe i might keep it just because it's coke all right cool i'll take it all right guys sorry about the traffic noise uh, there's a lot of traffic right here i'm getting a good Good signal here. Well, it was good. It's kind of all over the place. I'll let you know what it is when I locate it. These numbers are weird. All right, I'll get back to you. All right, I located the target. I have no idea what that is. Ooh, it's like shiny right there. I think it's made out of uh, pewter. The way it's deteriorating. It's just like a plug of some kind. Maybe it's screw in. I don't know. Well, I just found this. It was ringing up a solid 18. Um, it's going to be copper. Some kind of a copper wheel thing. I don't know. Gave up a really good signal. That's why I had to pull it out. Alright. I'm going to keep on going. Um, unfortunately, Chig had to go. His camera quit on him, so he had to leave. Um, so I'm going to keep going. haven't really found a whole lot. I don't know what all he found up there. He was in the water pretty deep at, up by the bridge. I think he had his snorkel on. But yeah, his camera quit on him, so he had to take off. But I'm going to keep uh, going for a little bit. Hope we find something. All right, I just found a fired bullet. I don't know how old it is, but it is lead. It's real heavy. 
um, had a heck of a hard impact. Um, I mean, it could be Civil War, I don't know. If it is, it's a small pistol bullet. There's no way of knowing. But it is lead. I just don't think it's real old. It's probably late 1800s, I don't know. But it was a hard impact. See that? How it's mushroomed and flattened out. Alright guys, I think I might have a... I see lead down there. I can't tell if it's a fishing sinker, but I'm going to put you guys under first. Alright guys, I'm going to put you guys under. I'm going to I'm going to fan some of the soot and the sand away and the dirt and we'll see what it is. Um, I'm holding my breath here. I hope it's a bullet, but maybe I should say I shouldn't hold my breath because it may not be a bullet. Hold on. Yippers, another bullet. It's definitely a Civil War bullet, three ringer. I think that's like the 20th we found in this area. I can't remember how many. Thought there was another one here. All right, guys, that was fun. See, when you go under like that, you just gotta fan it out of the way, all the dirt and stuff. And just laying down in there. All right, nice Civil War three ring bullet. Behind me, I want to show you guys something though before I get out of here, even though it's starting to rain. Luckily, I'm in the trees now. Um, the road that runs through here used to go behind me in the like seven, late 17, early 1800s. And I'm going to take you up here and show you that real quick. You can kind of see, I hope you guys can see it. There's a rock wall here where the road traveled and this no longer is used anymore it's still what's crazy is i checked it's still owned by the highway department even though this road has been expired for a hundred years at least we gotta climb this hill like i said it is the rain is coming down pretty hard so i don't want to be out here too long as long as it doesn't start lightning and stuff i'll be okay but yeah we're gonna come through here i want to show you this it's amazing to think about all the people that traveled this road through the years. Hopefully you guys can see me because it's getting awful dark because it's cloudy. You can hear the rain coming down. Left my uh, metal detector down the hill. You see this wall here? This is the original road that came through here. And it, like I said, this was built in the 1800s. Gotta watch out for uh, snakes got a mason jar lid right here just found oh, there could be some bottles up here and stuff i never even thought of that before yeah there's some broken bottles but this road ran that way see the wall and then it ran right through here like i said it's been closed many many years um I think the property line is right here too. Ugh. Sorry guys, I'm trying to climb through here and it's pouring down rain. All right, so now you got your rock wall here I just showed you. And then the road is up here past the fence. I've seen a bottle here I want to look at. It's not old, but I'd check it anyway. Sorry that it's raining. Hopefully y'all can uh, hear me. I mean, it's pouring down rain. So here's the original road. I'll take you up here and show it to you real quick. Now we're actually on the road. The rock wall's down there, so they built that to kind of hold back the uh, the road and everything uh, what's amazing is it looks like there's still some of the original pavement here through here so the road as you can see all the traffic right there that car turning the road came in across this road 
and then you have this rough wall right here and then the road just traveled up here and i believe it turns that way uh pretty amazing to think all the history going through here at one time 150 200 years ago this, what they call that jadeite glass there's a bone huh. yeah i may have to come up in here sometime maybe you see if chig wants to come along with me <laughs> all right guys i'm getting out of here it's the weather has turned for the worst and i need to get out of here and get home and get cleaned off and get dinner until next time i hope you enjoyed this uh short video and we'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe share it y'all just enjoy every day be happy and take care